I'm at the Fresh Market, you guys, getting ready to do a little shopping. I came here specifically to get meat. It's on sale this week. Um, the hamburger and the chicken, I'll show you guys what it is. I love to get my meat from here, and I watch for the hamburger and the chicken to go on sale. Two ninety nine a pound. This is five ninety nine a pound, and it's so nice. And there is the ground chuck. Two ninety nine instead of five ninety nine. And they are so busy here; they have to make it a lot. They just brought this tray out. Thank you. So I got a bunch of meat. So what I do is I come and I get like six packs of hamburger and six packs of chicken and put them in the freezer to last all month or so. So I got a bunch of meat. Plus a beef brisket, which I haven't made. But I used to have it when I was a kid. And I have a recipe and I have a new crock pot. So I'm gonna make this. And I'm gonna do these things on video. I'm gonna make lots of cooking videos. But um, the corn was three for a dollar. And I got two bananas eating the car. <laughs> a nice head of cauliflower right there. After I'm done here, I'm actually going to run into Publix real quick. But I thought I would just check here for, you know, deals. It says use carrots, and I wonder if I can just use little baby carrots. Ooh, they have a big bag. That is what I need right here. I think you can probably use baby carrots. This is supposed to be an inch, so this is probably gonna be perfect. Ooh, coffee. Oh my gosh, Trevon would like this. He'd love the coffee there. Oh my lord, it was so good. I have to get some for home. Mm, Trevon's gonna love it. Uh, course for my French press. Oh my goodness, the smell. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna also get a cup of that to take with me when I leave, but I'm gonna get it when I'm done shopping because it's always cold. Texas Ravana picture, <laughs> and he's just like, yeet. And uh, I was like, don't worry, I got some. I just have to get some. Well, I use whole milk in it. Now I have to get Zarya some sesame sticks. I always have to get them here at the fresh market. Ooh. And if I wasn't on my diet, I'd be eating me some of those right there. Look at this sun dried tomato ketchup. And since ketchup is all I've been using on my sandwiches because it's, you know, not bad for you caloric or fat wise, um, but that would be really good. It has natural flavor in it though. I don't know. I don't know if I should try it or not. I like my pet ketchup from uh, Publix, but that sure sounds good. I also have to give Zara some dates. These right here, these are them, right? Yeah, date pieces. Little dried pieces of dates coated in flour. I know it looks like sugar, but it's uh, flour. And he likes to put them, I don't, does he eat them plain? Yeah, he eats them plain and I like to put them in my cereal and stuff, but I'm gonna get these for him. I don't see sesame sticks, so I'll have to scoop them myself if I can find them. There they are, sesame sticks, roasted, salted, right there. They're so delicious. I don't eat them because they are fattening. I haven't even seen how fattening they are. I just know they are because they're oily tasting. 156 calories per serving size. I don't know what the serving size is, but 11 grams of fat. So I get him a little and he snacks on them and makes them last. Really fresh and good. There we go. I found the PLU 8134. There we go. I'm on the hunt for water, you guys. And since I'm here, let me ask you. I'm looking for water that's flavored, not carbonated, but Menard's looking for carbonated. Actually, carbonated would probably be okay. But with no diet sweeteners. I don't care if it's a little regular sweetener, as long as it's not very many calories. This is just water and flavor. So that's a little plain for me. I, I just don't know if there's one you guys like that has a little regular flavor. I mean, a little regular sweetener in it. Um, a little bit sweet, there you go. No artificial sweeteners. It has stevia leaf though, and that has a weird taste usually too. Super sweet, weird taste. I think I'll try it though. Cause you never know till you try it. Perfectly tart and a little bit sweet. Zero guilt. Wow, there's literally zero anything in it. I'm just, you know, when you're thirsty, sometimes you just don't want water. Something like this would be perfect. Well, that's cool. Look, caffeine kick, all natural, from coffee beans. Hmm. 
This place reminds me of Ross. Like you just can always find something you want and you can leave here spending a lot of money. But I'm on a budget today. I'm like broke after my trip. So we're just getting what we absolutely need. Yeah, I was looking at vanilla and I'm like, look at the price and I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> and you have to be careful here on the flower. Um, I get the, what's it called? King Arthur, I don't know, there's a picture of like a knight on it. It's red and white, it's the natural flower. It's like four, three something or four dollars at Publix and it's $8.99 here for a thing of flower. So yeah, a lot of these things in this place are expensive, but a lot of them are normal. So that's why I'm coming here to get my meat and stuff and things that are on sale like the corn and the coffee because it's really good. And I'm going to Publix right now to get the rest of my food, so come on. Oh my goodness, I have to get this for the kids because they each love these and when I was in Asheville last year they had them reduced from I don't know maybe it was spring again What? Milk chocolate pretzels with strawberry drizzle? Oh, that's these um, So I'm gonna get it back for each of the kids because they're half off hurry really fast because of the cold stuff and it's hot out stuff from the trip still in here okay Publix specific meals that I'm making this week. I'm not going to overbuy. Um, oh, these are nice, but it's $4.99. I'm not going to overbuy, so, and I'm going to make a meal like every other day. We don't make meals every single night because of the way we eat, but that's the plan right now. It's like a pound and a fourth. I think I'll just get my own. I didn't even see those. which I hope is crisp because in Mexico it was all crisp and here it's usually not crisp. Maybe I'll do my own. I don't usually do this, but let's see, is it rinsed? Washable, no, wash before use. Okay, it might be fresher this way. Maybe I should try it this way. What do you guys do? Do you use like heads of lettuce or do you get bags of lettuce? It's, probably, it's way cheaper to get it yourself. I have the hardest time finding fresh. Look, it already feels really soggy and I like really crisp lettuce. I'm telling you, we're in Mexico, the lettuce was so, so crisp. I usually get the butter as the crispiest. And it never looks good either. Oh well, I'm gonna get this one. I'm making chili need kidney beans and pinto beans. I guess it says eight ounces, this is 16. Oh well. I wonder if you can make a double batch in a crock pot. I wonder if it would fit. Me. Where's pinto? There's pinto. Rice. 20 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Hmm. Yeah, they are. Publix is good. Spaghetti sauce for spaghetti. This is a really good brand and it's buy one get one free and I love it when it's buy one get one free because it makes making a meal a lot cheaper. Ooh, and the pasta too. So we need lasagna noodles. No boiling. What? What does that mean? I don't have any regular. How do you not boil it? I guess you just bake it? I wonder if that works. Have you guys tried this? Is it going to be hard when you cook it? Huh. Do you put them in there like that hard? 
I don't know about that. You guys, I don't know about that. I'm gonna skip it for now, but please, if you have done this, wow, that's cool. Oh my God, it's already broken in half. I always break mine in half and Trevon yells at me. If you tried this and it works, let me know. And I think I'm gonna get this because um, I like them in half. Bow ties. I'm making this low calorie pasta salad, which I'm hoping the kids will like. I'll just get a big thing of Publix lasagna for now, but I would like to know if you guys have tried that, if it works. The no bake. And I need orzo. Where in the world is orzo? Is that in the pasta section or the rice section? I haven't bought that in a long, long time. I think it might be in the rice section. Orzo. Oh, there's orzo. Right there. Tricolor pasta. Hmm. Man, I'm telling you, I have sticker shock, shock after shopping in Mexico for uh, the week we were there and then coming here. $10 for the orzo. Is that the cheapest orzo? I don't see any more orzo. What in the world? Everything there is so cheap and everything here is so expensive. If orzo is uh, just pasta, how in the world can it cost so much? That's what I want to know. Chicken broth, which is that one. No, that one. Tuna. My favorite brand right here, you guys. It's so good. Tortilla shells. Oh, I'm gonna make what favor made in Mexico. Just the hamburger, the tortilla shells, a little shredded cheese. If you want it, I'm not gonna have the cheese. Some lettuce. It was so delicious. Here's the flour that was eight. 99 at French uh, Fresh Market right here. Half price, I mean, cost twice as much. This is what I usually use, but I need a light mayonnaise for a recipe. And golly, it's been so many years since I used a light one, I don't remember the one light one that I actually liked. If you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Oh, let me look at Duke's. How light really is it? Half the fat and calories. Still probably gonna be bad. A tablespoon has 50 calories and five grams of fat. I mean, it's better than the normal, but actually I think that um, there was a different one that was way less calories. If I could, oh my God, I used to use this. I used to love this stuff right here. Love it. <sighs> Ooh. Was it Hellman's Light? 35 calories, three and a half grams of fat. That's even better. I wonder if it tastes any good. Pretty sure the mayonnaise I used to get had 10 calories in it. Pretty sure. Oh well. I only like Dukes, so I'm gonna get, a, get the Dukes. Apple cider vinegar. I haven't used this in a long time, but I used to get Bragg. But I'm just gonna get pub, um, Spectrum, because it's good too. Actually, I'm going to get Publix brand organic. Oh, that'll work. This is also for recipe. Like I said, I'll show you guys when I make my recipes. I'll show them to you. Hope you guys want to see a bunch of cooking videos. I'm trying to find liquid smoke. Travon needs it. I have no idea where it would be. Oh, found it. Hmm. Oh my gosh, they have my almond milk. And a big container that's super handy. It's about time. This is what I usually get. Dollar off, so it'd be $2.28, $4.49. Um, gonna get this one. So I'm back home. I got a lot of groceries. The boys have helped me carry it in. What I do when I unload my groceries is I put all of my cold stuff there by the fridge and then I sit down and put it all in there where it goes. And then I already put like the canned stuff up, a lot of it, but I have to find a place for all these things to go in the pantry. I like to keep things organized, but you know, the kids, they take something out and they don't usually put it back where it goes, which makes it hard. I have to have a place to put my vegetables. So I don't really have a place. I need like a vegetable rack or something. One of those cool vegetable racks. I got this at um, Fresh Market to make when I got home because I figured it would cook quickly. 15 minutes. Yeah, so I'm gonna make this and maybe some corn real quick. And then I think I'm going to put my brisket in the um, crock pot. But that won't work because it'll only eight hours. No, stop. I guess I gotta do it before I go to bed. Oh my God, the pool's about to overflow. Look at it. It's literally about to overflow. Wow, that's one full pool. Every single day it's raining like this. Sarah. Zara, what are you doing? What? 
Yeah, and this big pile of stuff is for my snake, the snake setups, which we gotta do. And I gotta do dishes, I've been there all day and no one else did them. Minara's out with her friend. Um, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then start preparing stuff for dinner. Zara, what? This was I gonna show you guys. These are really good to have a few to snack on. Zara, where, who are you talking to, honey? What do you want? Come here. Oh my God, this coffee from the Fresh Market is smelling up the entire house. This is Trevon Cyril. He loves kind of cereals, but I'm going free. I'm gonna kind of sort things. Here's the pasta, there's the beans, refrigerator, under the cabinet, pantry. And uh, yeah, I got the quinoa and the couscous from Fresh Market. Um, oh, let me show you guys the meat that I got. Look at this freezer full of meat. This Minar and her friend got last night. I'm just looking at it like, oh. This right here, all natural pork sausage with no nitrates. This I have not had in years, but if I eat sausage, I use this. I, I cut them up in little teeny pieces and kind of fry them, but I'm gonna make this really good recipe, which I talked to you guys about months ago. I never made it. It's not low calorie, <laughs> but I'm gonna make it. I also, well, this is the hot dogs I get for Travon because they are no uh, nitrates. And this is a new meat that I tried. I don't remember if I tried this one, but it looked really good. The uh, hickory smoked turkey. The thing is, I always get this, um, I always get this kind, but I want to try something different this time because this one had a bunch of like gristly parts on it, which grossed me out. That's why I wanted to try this one. Um, but yeah, I got uh, cheese for that recipe. I think that's the only meat I got. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. The popcorn was buy one, get one free, and I didn't even buy any. And that's a good deal because ever since I started my diet back up a couple months ago, um, I go to eat, and these are a smaller bag than usual, I go to eat some, and just after a little, I get full and don't really enjoy it. So that's why I don't really eat it much anymore, even though in the past I couldn't even watch a movie without popcorn, man. <laughs> I had to have my popcorn. I guess you can just sit vegetables in your pantry. Let me, oh gosh, I think I busted that one open. We're gonna be eating this one tonight. I bruised that thing, man. But I can't see why they can't sit in your pantry. Except for besides they'll probably make a little mess everywhere and have to just sweep it out. That'll work. That's my smoothie stuff. That's where I put my grains and things. Get in there, these are on sale. Let's see, that's like my baking stuff. These are my bulk spices. These are like chippy snack things. We really don't have too much. I mean, a lot of people have a lot of things in their cabinet and this is my grocery shopping for a long time. Lots of garlic. I'm gonna start using more garlic. Yummy. Well, it's the next day, it's Sunday. And um, I hasn't, I hasn't, I hasn't made any food yet. Uh, Minara had a friend over yesterday and um, she made us delicious chicken. So right now I'm just doing my nails and I'm bored and I don't like doing my nails cause it's boring. I like doing them, but I don't like taking them off. So what I did <laughs> is I used gel polish at Favor's house. Favor, in case you guys don't know, is it's our Fenwick life on YouTube. Her and Robert and they're amazing. They go on cruises and travel and they're putting vlogs of our trip up to of their own that I told you guys about that we did. Um, went to Texas and Mexico and just got back last week. So this nail polish I lost it is gel. It lasted like 10 days <clears throat> and I loved it and I love it and I'm gonna always use it. And I actually got home and ordered my own stuff. So I'm gonna make a video doing my nails with my gel stuff because a favor, I learned a lot about it and I love it. So I'm trying to soak it off in acetone, which favor gave me. And um, I got a lot of it off because you don't want to peel gel because it will take your nail off with it. Um, I actually accidentally peeled one piece off. I think maybe it took some nail with it right there, but I'm just gonna buff it down. Anyway, so I'm soaking in acetone right now. That's, what, that's what's happened, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So I can do my nails again and I make, and make my, um, what's it called, make my, Beef brisket, that's what I wanna do.